Hello, my friends. Welcome to Tuesday, January 3rd, 2017. I heard you ring the bell coming in. I figured I might get a few more decorations off, but uh, welcome to Drunk Pokeroo time, and it most assuredly is beer time. Uh, 2016 was a really wonderful year. 2017 promises even bigger and better things. Coming out of Blythe, Ontario, with a brewery hoping to open this summer, that they want to be carbon neutral, so very environmentally friendly, which is always a good thing, is Cowbell Brewing. Who doesn't need more Cowbell in their life, I ask? Everybody could use some. What I really like about this, their first beer was Absent Landlord, which was a Kolsch-style ale. It's a fairly, fairly nice beer. Not a massive Kolsch fan, but it was good, easy drinking, smooth. And then I found this at the LCBO the other day. But what I wanted to tell you about was the awesome stuff that they're doing. So it's not just about beer. Five cents from every can or pint sold from this brewery goes to local charities. So if you can get good beer and do some good like we've talked about before, what's better than that? So let's get into this because uh, taking down decorations is hard work. I hope you're taking your time with it. There is no rush. Orthodox Christmas is like in a couple of days. So, I mean, always a good excuse to leave some stuff up to celebrate with your friends who might follow that calendar. Um, this is a red ale. So... I'm very excited. West Coast Red Ale. I've heard lots of good things about it from my beer friends. Especially, you know, as we hit the end of the year list. So let's uh, get into this here. Doc Produce Bobcat West Coast Red Ale from Cowbell Brewing. Ooh, that smells happy. Like citrusy grapefruit right at the top. And look, look at the color. So like a red ale color with a nice head and a citrusy smell. All right. Cheers to Tuesday and getting your decorations down. Wow. Okay. That's a damn good beer. That's uh, There's caramel there, so you get that kind of red ale caramel toasted malt note. But then there's this sneaky little grapefruit bitterness that comes up on the back end and leaves you with like a sort of a, a lingering sweet malt IPA kind of kick. And that is awesome. Awesome. You know what? Really looking forward to this brewery opening. Really looking forward to going and visiting um, this one and so many others. I asked a question on Twitter the other day, you know, what breweries you must go to this, this year? Where do you need to go that you haven't been? So hopefully you'll get to go and visit some places you haven't been. Hopefully I'll get to go to Blythe and visit Cowbell Brewing because good causes, getting money from beer, that's an awesome reason to drink more and more Cowbell. Cheers to you guys. Get out there, buy some of these beers. Let's help, you know, raise some money for local charities. And also you get to drink really good beer. What could be better than that? Cheers. More cowbell indeed.